early morning light on the Deerfield River, and a group of committed fly fishermen team up with state biologists to see if wild rainbow trout do exist in the Deerfield. Specialized electrofishing equipment is used to temporarily stun the fish, with each fish being accounted for. When a young rainbow is found, measurements are taken and a fin is clipped so it can be identified in future years. These young fish are considered wild because they didn't come from a hatchery and have spawned successfully. How many fish and for how many generations is not known. Because rainbow, wild rainbows are extremely rare in the state. Yeah, so what we're trying to do is figure out where these rainbow trout came from. Have they been here for a long time? Like rainbow trout were first brought to the east in the 1870s. Or is it just something that happened in the last few years? So one rainbow and some rookies? Yep. One rainbow and actually a fair amount of rookies. Now our entries don't really exist. Learning more about these fish will help local conservation groups determine how healthy the river and its tributaries are functioning. It's the work of organizations like Trout Unlimited who are doing the work today to preserve and improve local freshwater fisheries for tomorrow. Consider reaching out to your local chapter to get involved and see what you can do. Our local streams and rivers are something we all love and share so why not get involved and join in on the fun? The work we do today will determine the world we have tomorrow.